A really, really quick lunch because I'm hungry. And sometimes when you're hungry, you just want to quick cook something quick. So I don't all the time cook big extravagant meals because sometimes I just want something really quick. So the first thing I'm doing is I wanted me a little baked beans and hot dogs. I got my beans here. I got my sausage there and I'm going to cut up some onions and I'm going to put some onions in it. But I'm also going to put some good flavors inside of there. I'm going to put a little vanilla in my beans. Yes, I am. I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla in my beans. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. Not much, just a dab, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And I'm also going to put a little bit of brown sugar in here and butter. Um, like I said, sometimes I don't always want a great big meal. I just want something quick. And so today, that's what I'm doing. Making me a little bit of beans and hot dogs for lunch. Because like I said, anybody that, hey Wanda, anybody that pretends like they cook big extravagant meals all the time is lying. And they crazy. So, Wanda, you just joining me, sis. So what I said, that I'm hungry, but I don't feel like cooking a big extravagant meal. So what I'm going to do is I had a taste for some beans and some hot dogs. And I'm making me some beans with some Polish sausage in it. I cut up some onions. In my beans, what I put in there was a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of white sugar. I put a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg in my beans. I sure did. Because I like flavorful beans. This is my pork and bean. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Hey, Nicole. These my beans. And these are my sausage my onions and I also got I also have a little bit of rice because I like my beans over rice and I don't like beans beans but I like baked beans every now and again I have a taste for them so like I said right now I'm cutting up my onions because I want a little bit of onions in my beans because I like to make my beans a little bit different um, sometimes you want something quick you don't want nothing big you just want a quick meal that you can eat so I'm going to cut up my onions right quick because I love onions, especially these damn Vidalia onions. You know, I just realized I still have some onions already cut up in the refrigerator. I didn't need to cut up this, but that's all right. They'll get ate by the way. Ain't nobody going to be eating this little quick meal but Sands and I. Everybody else in the house is still sleep. And then I don't even know if Sands is going to eat because Sands is so picky. Sometimes he don't even eat. But I tell you one thing, my ass is hungry. I'm eating. So I'm slicing up these onions, dicing them up a little bit, and I'm cutting up my sausage, and I'm going to throw them down in my beans, because y'all know, when we was kids, what your grandmother used to go to your grandmother's house, and sometimes she'd give you something, some beans and hot dogs, but well, not my grandmother too much, but my aunt, give you some beans and hot dogs, or give you a bologna and cheese sandwich, you know, I'm taking it back, I'm going old school. So right now, what I'm getting ready to do, let y'all see. These are my beans. These are my onions. And what I'm doing right now is I'm not going to put all those onions in this little pot of beans. But I'm going to put my onions and my sausage in my beans. And let that cook down a little bit. And that's what I'm having for lunch. I'm not, I'm not looking at the phone, so I can't see who's saying what just yet. Just give me a second. I will look on there because I try to acknowledge everybody when they're in here because I appreciate you guys for supporting me. So I try to acknowledge everybody. So let's see who's on here. You never had, hey Radda, God bless you too. You never had pork and beans with rice, child. That is some kind of good. Most of the time when I make my pork and beans, I, I hey Normalyn, most of the time when I cook my pork and beans, um, I have salmon cakes. I make salmon cakes and rice with some pork and beans. Girl, you talk about something good. You got to try it. Make your pork and beans. Make you some rice. Put the beans right over top of the pork and beans. The pork and beans right over top of the rice. Girl, you talk about something good. Yes, indeed. Now, I'm going to turn this down. Of course, y'all know I always got to taste stuff. I'm going to turn this down on a little low heat because I want my sausages to cook. A little bit. Mondi, you ain't never had rice with pork and beans? Yes, indeed, honey. 
And I ain't feel like making no big, big pot of rice. Y'all ain't going to believe what kind of rice I done threw together, honey. I had some cheddar broccoli rice in there, and I done threw that in here, and that's just what I'm going to throw on my plate. I'm just like my mother, because my mother used to do stuff like that. Mama used to do what was called make a goulash. Anything that she found that was left over, she threw it together, and it would taste good. So, I'm just like her. When I get hungry... And I got a taste for something different because you get tired of the same old, same old. Plus, I ain't got no more breakfast meat because I would have, I had an appointment this morning. So, this went up and at them so early. I had an appointment this morning. And I went to the appointment and I'm just getting back. And I'm hungry. And I don't have any more breakfast meat. If I had known that, I'd have stopped at the store. I don't have like no more bacon or, matter of fact, I don't even think I had no more damn eggs. Shoot, I gotta run to the store. I gotta make a quick store run. Mmm, that rice good. Damn, that rice good. Mmm. So tonight, y'all, I'm I'm having. Now, I don't know if y'all do this, but I do. Sometimes when I cook a really big dinner. I put things that are left over in free freezer bags. And I had some sauerkraut and pigtails that I had left over from a big meal that I had. And, um, well, yeah, well, uh, uh, Yolanda, you don't have to have pork and beans. You know they do have just the beans without the pork. Because as a matter of fact, I don't even really know if these are pork and beans or they just baked beans. I believe they no. these are pork and beans but sometimes I do get just baked beans so definitely you can improvise you don't have to have the pork and beans tell you the truth I don't even see where the little pieces of pork is in there like they used to but um what I was saying is sometimes when I cook really big meals what I do is I put the leftovers in freezer bags so I went to my freezer and I got a bag of uh, sauerkraut and pigtails and it froze really nice. So I got that sitting out. And I got some chicken leg quarters. So tonight, I'll be coming back at y'all with a with dinner. Because I'm going to make some chicken leg quarters. I'll probably bake them. Not really sure. I'm going to have some sauerkraut and pigtails. And probably some potatoes or something like that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to have. You know about me. I never know what I'm going to do, honey. I'll throw something in at the last minute. But one thing for sure and two things for certain. Your girl got to cook up in here. Because this Haitian that I got, yeah, if y'all know anything about Caribbean men, let me tell you, Caribbean men want a meal. They don't believe in Sans is Haitian, and he don't believe in just a sandwich or something like that. Every now and again, I might, hey, Juanita, every now and again, I might be able to get away with giving him a sandwich or something, but he don't believe in that. He believes in a meal, baby. These Caribbean men are something else. Now, don't get it twisted. He does not twist my arm and make me to do it. It's just he's my man and I don't mind doing it. He don't mind doing things for me and the least he's asking is for a meal. I don't mind doing that. But he want a full meal, baby. And that's what I got to do. And then them children of mine, they love food too. They just, but my children, says well too. I ain't going to say that he won't eat a sandwich or something. Because sometimes I will come to him and be like, baby, I ain't feel like cooking no big meal. And I might fix him a sandwich or something like that and he'd be okay with it. So it's not like he's unreasonable. But for the most part, he would prefer that I fix him a big meal. My kids, as long as they eat, they don't give two shits. Do you hear me? Them greedy kids of mine, they don't give two shits as long as mommy feeding them something. So let me go through here and see if I done spoke to everybody. Retta, Juanita, Nicole, Yogi, and Mondi, and um, Norma Lynn. Yeah, so I will be coming back at y'all a little bit later on. My meal is just about done. Let me taste my rice here. Mmm. I'm crazy. It's my cheddar broccoli rice that I microwave right quick. I got my beans and sausage with Vidalia onions in here warming up. And um, that's when I'm getting ready for a little quick lunch. But y'all remember, I'm going to cook some dinner tonight for y'all. I'm going to do something different with these uh, turkey wings. I think I'm going to bake them and I'm going to make them like a... I think like a teriyaki style. They're going to be baked with like 
a teriyaki style or something like that and with some shallots and some stuff like that and I'm going to do the sauerkraut and pigtails because I pulled it out my freezer and I'll probably do like some garlic mashed potatoes or something like that. So y'all get back with your girl later on because I'm going to be cooking back in this kitchen and I got some stuff I want to go over with y'all. And remember, remember I told you Lamondi Hayes, she is fighting for lupus. She has a walk, a lupus walk coming up August the 20th. So I want y'all who to support my girl Lamondi in some kind of way, send her some kind of support. Lamondi Hayes has um, a walk coming up on August 20th. Um, you need to make corned beef brisket. Oh, God, girl. Yes, I can make a corned beef brisket for you. I'll do that. That's a good idea. As a matter of fact, it's time for me to get ready to go do my grocery shopping this weekend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some things down on the menu. I got a couple of good recipes from some people. They told me they wanted me to do. So I wrote that down on my list. And Monty, that'll go on my list too, some corned beef brisket. Now, I ain't even going to lie to you. If the corned beef brisket price ain't right, I ain't doing it. But I'll tell you how to do it. I ain't buying it because y'all know me. I'm bargain basement Annie. My food has got to last. Um, again, so I will holler back at y'all a little bit later. Everybody take care. I love you. I appreciate you guys for supporting me. Oh, that's good, Norma Lynn. You making chicken Alfredo pen, uh, pen tonight. Okay, good. Take some pictures so I can see. So I will get back with y'all because I'm hungry. And I know Sands is hungry. He just walked past me. So let me get off of this phone. Let, see, off the phone. Y'all know I'm a trip. I can't help it. Anyway, um, I will holler back at y'all later. From my kitchen to yours or wherever you are, I holler.